One life has come to an end. Life is a fragile thing. It can be snuffed out in an instant through any number of means. This life belonged to a simple cat that lived with her owner. Her owner may have been devastated. They may have given her a formal burial. They may have scattered her ashes. Or perhaps they were not even aware of her death, just disappearing one day, never to come back. Regardless of the circumstances, one life has come to an end. The cat in question, Kuan, has ended up in the soul plane following her death. Within the soul plane is the boundary, which allows those who cross it to return to the real world. Left with no choice, Kuan proceeds towards it. has perished once again. She remains not but a regular cat, even within the soul plane. A fragile life that can be lost at any moment. However... As the age-old saying goes, a cat has nine lives. With each life lost, Kuan is resurrected with both a new soul and a new skill. This is known as Anima Revive. The power to find hope in death. Be warned, however. 
The more power Kuan gains, the further she strays from her feline nature. A time will come where a decision must be made. To remain as is, no matter the cost. Or to give in to the call of dominating power. Should you choose the former, hope comes in the form of points. And when the time comes, the cancel button will be your ticket to maintaining yourself. That is, until you become unable to do so. stands in Kuan's way. No mere cat can hope to defeat it. However, whether by fate or by sheer determination of will, Kuan possesses the ability to absorb a portion of a fiend's power by evading its attacks. Repeat this process until Kuan has absorbed enough power, allowing her to unleash a devastating blow that even fiends cannot withstand. Kuan. If a time ever comes where you find yourself lost and unable to make it back home, please don't give up. Stay strong. Keep hope in your heart, no matter what. I promise I'll find you, even if I have to search far and wide. So please, don't forget me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be making heartfelt speeches to a cat. This is the boundary. Kuan's one and only means of returning to the real world. This will be no simple task, however. The road ahead is much too perilous for a mere cat. 
Will Kuon be able to accomplish it before expending all nine of her lives? The Soul Trail marks the beginning of a long journey for those who wish to return to the real world. For most, though, it is also the beginning of the end. Traverse the Soul Plane from here and locate the four keystones required to unlock the seal on the boundary. Tread carefully, however. Many have set out on the same quest only to meet their gruesome ends. Excellent judgment and absolute power are your only means of surviving this harrowing environment. Do what you must to obtain them.
The soul, or perhaps the sin, of the human has pushed Ku on to a new stage. She can no longer be seen nor treated as a regular cat. This humanoid mode will grant additional power to the skills already attained by Kuon, making her much more fit for survival in the Soul Queen. Though a great power it may be, it was obtained at a steep price. Will it truly grant Kuon the hope she so desires? reached the spirit springs spiritual power bursts forth endlessly from fountains connected to the land's spirit veins think of it as the soul plane's geyser of sorts some fountains spew searing hot energy while others freeze up almost instantly pay attention to which ones will assist you in your climb be wary of the fiends that lie in wait, too, as they shan't hesitate to send you back to the depths. What's more, you can feel a presence ever so similar, yet ever so different to yourself. Expect a violent encounter should it stand in your way. This time may prove to be a very one-sided encounter, however. Send off the fiends that await you. Utilize the bursts of spiritual power to reach the top and seek out the keystone that you require. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know that? <laughs> <laughs> 